and Citrus Valley High School students, family, friends, faculty, administrators, and school board members. My name is Sarah Keller, and I am so incredibly fortunate to be the AVID coordinator at Citrus Valley. Tonight, I will spend a few moments highlighting some of the wonderful things our program has done this year, but most importantly, I am here to honor and celebrate each and every one of our AVID seniors in the graduating class of 2020. So our AVID family at Citrus Valley, we're looking at our school-wide plan so that all teachers have access to our awesome AVID strategies. So our Citrus Valley site team focus this year was on expanding proficiency of the focused note-taking process throughout CV. Beyond just our AVID elective classes, we wanted all teachers to have training and learn how to use the focused note-taking system because it's a really great study tool for all students to have. There are a couple of ways that we did this to support um, our staff. The first thing we did was invite our RIMS AVID coach, so our official AVID coach, Carrie Livingston, uh, to our campus. She provided us with several days of focus note training, in addition to other activities and supplemental training that our Citrus Valley AVID site team provided during staff meetings. Once we got trained by Carrie, and then we provided our staff with extra activities and support, we had Carrie come back in a culminating walkthrough um, to check out how we were actually doing with all of the training. And this happened before spring break, thankfully, and she was very pleased with our growth as a staff. So it's our hope that next year we'll be able to continue the momentum that we have um, started with the focused note-taking process and helping our students succeed the best way that they possibly can. So some of the fun things that our students have done this year in AVID, um, breakdown by month, of course, kind of falls off at the end, but um, September and October, we had a couple of activities for our freshmen. We went to Fiesta Village. It's sort of a fun um, family building activity since the family environment uh, is a big part of the AVID culture, we want them to feel like they all belong and that starts as soon as they enter AVID in ninth grade. We also had a field trip planned to Cal State, San Bernardino and UCR, um, but we had to drop the San Bernardino portion of that field trip because of the fires. So we just spent a little extra time at UC Riverside instead. And we were given a tour by our tutor uh, who currently goes to UCR. So it was really fun. Uh, in November, we took a field trip to Cal State San Marcos. Our tour was led by one of our former AVID students who now attends San Marcos, and then also University of San Diego. And that tour was also given by one of our former AVID students. It's really amazing to have our former AVID students show our current AVID students around campus and um, get them excited about what their future holds. Um, also in November, we participated in the AVID Olympics as we do every year with RHS and REV. Um, I have a, a little picture of that on one of the next slides. Unfortunately, Citrus Valley did not win the Olympics, but one of these years we will hopefully triumph. One of the awesome new things also that happened in November for us was a school-wide college application day. And I have a picture or two of that ahead as well. It was an a day that was completely open to every senior on campus, whether they were applying to community college or four-year college. And um, it was a joint effort with counseling. And we had about 70 to 75 students participate. We're hoping that it grows throughout the years, but it was a really great day to celebrate our students' next steps and help them apply to college. In February, we had our junior overnighter, of course, where we went all the way up to Sacramento and back down. And then in March, we had our first ninth grade recruitment event at Citrus Valley. Last year, we teamed up with Rev uh, to kind of work out the kinks and figure out how all of that was going to go. And this year, we were fortunate enough to have our recruitment event on our campus um, with Beatty and Clement kids that were slated to come to uh, Citrus Valley for next year. And it was a lot of fun. We had about 65 to 70 students show up for that. And they were also interv interviewed on the spot at the end. So here's just a few pictures because it didn't happen if you don't take a picture, right? So on the left, we have our freshmen um, at Fiesta Village right before we sat down to have some lunch. And then you have um, some of our AVID seniors here from Citrus Valley and um, some of the RHS uh, seniors as well and Mrs. Ochoa there. Um, sometimes, often, we have to team up with RHS um, when it comes to some of the 
the team sports there in the Olympics, but it always works out. Here's a few pictures from our junior overnighter. Um, we started in Fullerton, worked our way up to San Francisco State. The Golden Gate Bridge is always <laughs> uh, a staple picture that we need to take. And down here you actually have Mr. Perez planking because that's what he does. And of course us enjoying a meal at Spaghetti Factory, which is a staple of our trip as well. The students always have a great time. Here are a few pictures, well, a few, two pictures of our college application day. This one right here is one of my favorites because you can see in action the student clicking submit and Mrs. Hill helping our student. Um, and then we have our support staff over here. Our college app day was really a huge celebration for all of our seniors that chose to participate in whatever their next step was, whether it was community college or four-year college. It was an effort between counseling, administration, social science department gave up um, some of their time so that we could help these seniors fill out their applications. Um, without rushing it. So it was amazing. And um, we look forward to doing it again next year. These t-shirts now have been a really great advertisement for College App Day. Um, the kids, the underclassmen saw those shirts and said, I want one of those shirts. And we told them, well, you've got to wait until you're a senior to get one. Um, so hopefully that will do some promotion for us. But it was amazing. So before we actually start introducing the seniors, um, I do want to also mention something. Although all of our AVID students were accepted to at least one university, many of them have chosen to attend Crafton Hills College or San Bernardino Valley College or any, another community college for the first two years uh, because they've been offered the free college promise program where they get to go for free. Um, it's kind of hard to argue with free. So our goal as AVID educators is of course to ensure that students make the best financial choice for their individual circumstances. And this certainly has been a unique moment in time for all of us. So um, although they were accepted to universities, sometimes it just makes more financial sense for them to go to community college first. So you will see that in some of our slides. And now it is with both a heavy heart and honor that I introduce our Citrus Valley High School's AVID class of 2020 from a socially acceptable distance. Our first student is Christopher Cow. Chris has been a member of the AVID family since the sixth grade. He always brought a positive outlook to class and he will be attending Cal State San Bernardino this fall as a computer engineering major. Next up we have Gabriel Demas. Gabe is a true leader, scholar, and an excellent example of what it means to be an AVID student. He's received the Discipuli Dignitatis distinction and he has taken eight AP classes and continues to challenge himself beyond what was ever expected of any of his teachers. Additionally, his passion for soccer and his community led him to complete over 400 hours of community service for AYSO. Gabe has many options to choose from as a result of his hard work for college. He will happily be attending UC Santa Cruz which we visited on the overnighter in the fall as a computer engineering major. Gabe, get ready for us to come visit because that is one of my favorite stops on the overnighter. Congratulations. Next up, we have Maritza Enriquez. I had the joy of meeting Maritza as a freshman in my science class. It has been a pleasure to watch her grow up. She has participated in Environmental Awareness Club and Yearbook. She is attending Crafton Hills College in the fall to become an ultrasound technician. Congratulations, Maritza. Next up, we have Christian Fernandez. Christian has been an, uh, an active scholar athlete during his time at Citrus Valley. He's participated in cross country, soccer, and track. He has been accepted to several universities as a result of his hard work. And this fall, he will be attending Grand Canyon University. Congratulations, Christian. Next up, we have Melissa Galliano. Melissa has been a part of the AVID family for five years. She's participated in several clubs and athletics, including Possibilities Club, Pals for Paws, and also Swim and Cross Country. She's been accepted to several universities, but she will be attending Crafton Hills College with the Free College Promise Program this fall. Congratulations, Melissa. Next up, we have Carolina Garcia. 
I have had the pleasure of watching Carolina grow up over the last four years. She started in my Avid 9 class, as many of these uh, students did. And Carolina has worked tirelessly to pursue her college dreams. She's taken nine AP classes and holds the honor of Discipuli Dignitatis. Even with her sharp ac academic focus, she's still found time to participate in several community service-based clubs on campus, as well as being an active and passionate member of our symphonic band and wind ensemble. Carolina is the recipient of several scholarships this year, including the Northside Impact Scholarship and the RIMS Avid Scholarship, both of which are very competitive scholarships. She will be attending Cal State San Bernardino in the fall as a physical therapy major. Congratulations, Carolina. Next up is Sophia Gill. Sophia joined us a little later in her high school career, 11th grade, but she quickly adapted to the challenge, even with a zero period. Some of these kids signed up for zero period. They were just warriors to make it happen. Um, she will be attending Waldorf University in the fall as an English major and will be playing softball for them as well. And it was definitely her goal to get signed as a softball player. So congratulations, Sophia. Um, can't wait to hear what awesome things you do with softball while you are over there. Next up, we have Emily Gomez. Emily has been an avid all four years of high school and has also maintained honor roll status all four years. She has been involved in Helping Hands Club for three years and also spent a season on the cross country team and was a phenomenal link crew leader. My freshmen said so, and they're honest. So Emily will be attending Cal State San Bernardino in the fall as a kinesiology major. Congratulations, Emily. Next up, we have Mia Henriquez. Mia certainly has made the most of her time at Citrus Valley. She participated in Possibilities Club and Environmental Awareness Club. She has maintained principal honor roll all four years of high school and is graduating with a 4.11 GPA. She will be attending UCR this fall as an environmental science major. Congratulations, Mia. Next up, we have Samantha Leon. When Sam entered my Avid 9 class four years ago, she walked in with a confidence of someone who clearly knew how Avid already worked. Um, a lot of the freshmen came in wide-eyed and a little bit nervous, but Sam knew what was up. And that's because her Avid journey, like some of the other students now, uh, as we start to see the Avid program expand at the middle school, her Avid journey began in middle school and really helped her transition to high school. She's always been a natural leader and an advocate for our community. She recently received the Volunteer of the Year Award for the City of Redlands. She has juggled volunteer time with school, Pacific Islanders Club, and her job at Target. She'll be attending San Bernardino Valley College in the fall under the Free College Promise Program and would like to major in nursing in the future. Congratulations, Sam. I'm sure I'll be seeing you at Target. Next up, we have Melissa. Samantha Medina Gonzalez. Melissa has been in our AVID family for five years. It's awesome to have students entering high school already knowing what's up. So Melissa received an award for perfect attendance in the 16-17 school year, made principal's honor roll in 2017, and faculty honor roll in 2019. She has challenged herself by completing several AP courses and has many acceptances from which to choose for college. Melissa will be attending Grand Canyon University this fall. Congratulations, Melissa. Next up, we have Alejandro Mora. Alejandro was always seemingly planning something with Christian in my Avid 11 class. Maybe now that they're graduating, they can tell me some of those plans that they were making. Um, Alejandro always had a great time in my class. He's taken advantage of multiple AP courses and will be attending CSU San Marcos in the fall. And Alejandro, we visit San Marcos, so get ready to be one of our tour guides. Congratulations. Next up, we have Mia Murphy. Mia has been an avid all four years and has helped lead and organize various clubs on campus, 
including Helping Hands, Compact Club, and Possibilities Club. She played badminton all four years of high school and played basketball for three years. In addition, she's a link crew leader and will graduate with four-year honor roll status. She'll be attending Cal State University Fullerton in the fall. And Mia, we're definitely visiting Fullerton, so get ready for our visit. Congratulations. Next up, we have Roy Nguyen. Roy was a later addition to our Abin family in 11th grade. He's been accepted to Cal State University San Bernardino, Cal Baptist University, and La Sierra University. He plans to attend San Bernardino Valley College in the fall. Congratulations, Roy. Next up, we have Itzel Areli Nunez, German. How'd I do, Itzel? Is that okay? I've been practicing. We may as well call Itzel Madam President right now. Itzel was in my Avid 9 class as well, and she has always had a strong sense of purpose and direction, both personally and academically. She and Maddie Skidmore revived a club on our campus called Compact Careers Club. We had it, and then we didn't have it, and they brought it back as freshmen. So two freshmen took charge of an entire club, and now four years later, they're leaving it stronger than it ever was before. It's amazing. So although Itzel already had the makings of a young woman who changed the world, I watched with wonder as her involvement in various clubs and organizations on campus helped her grow and become even more confident. She has been co-president of Compact Club for four years, is an ROP Medical Pathway Ambassador, and this year is our AVID Senior Class President. Itzel has logged well over 100 hours of community service and has also taken multiple AP courses. Her hard work and dedication has certainly paid off. Itzel has been accepted to every university to which she applied, including UCLA, and she already has over $4,000 in scholarships just from her compact career scholarship money that she started chipping away at when she was a freshman. She will be uh, attending University of Redlands this fall as a biochemistry and molecular biology major, and she will someday become a neurosurgeon. Congratula congratulations, itself. Bianca Orahel. Bianca has been a great scholar athlete with three years of basketball and participation in Possibilities Club and taking several AP courses. She's done awesome. She's a member of NHS and CSF. She will be attending Cal State San Bernardino in the fall. Congratulations, Bianca. Next up, we have Brianna Perez. Brianna is a fifth year AVID family member. She always makes an effort to say hello to me in the hall which is nice because some kids just kind of pretend like they don't see me. So it's nice when kids say hi. So Brie, thanks for always saying hi in the hall. Um, she is super passionate about criminal justice. She spent a lot of her time researching criminal justice in AVID. And now she's received over $28,000 to attend Cal Baptist University this fall as a criminal justice major. Congratulations, Brianna. Soraya Rial. Soraya... What can I possibly say about Soraya? I could say a lot, but we'll save that for later, and I hope she's laughing right now. Soraya was also in my AVID 9 class. She has maintained perfect attendance all four years, is on principal's honor roll, and is a mem member of the Discipuli Dignitatis. She is an amazing uh, cello musician as well as you can see with the picture and she will make a fantastic teacher someday. She will be attending the University of Redlands this fall. Congratulations, Soraya. Can't wait to see what else you do. Next up, we have Jamie Lynn Rogers. Jamie is a part of our Citrus Valley Orchestra and will soon also be a part of the University of Redlands Orchestra in the fall because she will be attending the University of Redlands and plans to major in history and music education. So now we have three students in a row that will be attending the University of Redlands together. So hopefully they're able to already have those connections when they get to school. Congratulations, Jamie. Next up, we have Zion Russell. Zion, I'm gonna miss the random stories you provided us 
daily in class. Uh, Zion has been an avid all four years and has also dedicated three years to our basketball team. He loved basketball and I loved hearing about their games when he would come back. Um, he'll be attending Cal State San Bernardino this fall. Congratulations, Zion. Next up, we have Bashir Saad. Bashir has been an avid all four years. He has participated in Link Crew and is a CSF member. He will be attending Crafton Hills College in the fall, and his goal is to transfer to UCR after that. Congratulations, Bashir. Next up, we have Sienna Saavedra. Sienna has made great strides academically and personally during her four years at Citrus Valley and in Avid. Uh, when she joined cheer last year, that completely changed her outlook and I just watched her blossom into this super confident young lady and it's been great to see and I've enjoyed waving at her at the game so I will miss being able to do that. Sienna will be attending Crafton Hills College in the fall. Congratulations, Sienna. Next up, we have Jonathan Santana. I will always remember zero period with Jonathan. Jonathan was involved in compact club, bowling club, and baseball. Of course, his favorite was baseball. He has been accepted to multiple universities, and he will be attending San Bernardino Valley College and Riverside Flight Academy in the fall. Congratulations, Jonathan. Next up, we have Maddie Madison Skidmore. Maddie has been an AVID all four years of high school. Of course, she began in my AVID 9 class with Itzel. She and Itzel became friends as they co-founded Compact back in the day. Maddie has an incredible heart specifically for veterans and animal shelters. She is a member of Discipuli Dignitatis and is a Compact scholarship winner four years in a row. So she also has over $4,000 saved um, through her Compact scholarships. In addition to AVID, Compact, and AP courses, Maddie was also President and Vice President of Pacific Islanders Club. She'll be attending Grand Canyon University in the fall as an English for Secondary Education major, and we hope someday that she will come home to teach English at Citrus Valley. Congratulations, Maddie. Next up, we have Lizette Vasquez Valdez. Lizette is also a five-year AVID family member. She's a varsity water polo athlete a lifeguard at YMCA, an AYSO referee, and a Redlands PD explorer. She has received multiple water polo recruitment offers and college acceptances. Lizette will be attending Crafton Hills in the fall with a plan to transfer to Long Island University in Brooklyn to play water polo and major in international affairs. Congratulations, Lizette. Next up, we have Oliver Urbina Cruz. Oliver began his AVID journey in my AVID 9 class. It has been great to watch him grow into the mature young man he is today. He is a scholar athlete. He has participated in soccer, track, link crew, and is the senior AVID vice president this year. Oliver will be attending Cal Baptist University in the fall as a business administration major with a minor in marketing. Congratulations, Oliver. Next up, we have Olivia Vinson. Olivia was also in my AVID 9 class. We've had a lot of fun times. She has been accepted to 11 universities, nine of which are historic, historically black colleges and universities. And she will be attending Tuskegee University with over $34,000 in student financial aid. Congratulations, Olivia. Last and certainly not least is Ashanti Watkins. Ashanti has been a part of the AVID family for six years. She's volunteered over 70 hours of community service and has participated in theater, crew, badminton, compact club, and others. She'll be attending Sacramento State this fall. And Ashanti, Sacramento is another one that we uh, visit on our overnighter, as you know. So we will be stopping to see you. Be ready to be our tour guide. Congratulations. Unfortunately, not all of our seniors submitted slides to be honored tonight. 
but I want to wish all of our seniors in the class of 2020 the best for their future. Hopefully it is a future without a pandemic and without masks. And last but not least, I want to thank all of our parents and families for supporting our students every step of the way. Thank you and go Citrus Valley.